Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Friday, June 15, 2018. Today we're going to recap yesterday's baseball action, look ahead to tonight's baseball action, go over the U.S. Open a little bit, go over the results from FIFA yesterday, and look ahead to today's games as well. And I'll pick two of the early games for tomorrow and two of the games for today, and I'll go over my latest NHL mock draft. Here we go. The Giants defeated the Marlins 6-3 in 16 innings as they improved the 34-35. Miami drops the 26-43. Ty Block improves the 4-5. Enrique Hernandez drops to 0-4. Sam Dyson gets his first save of the year. I'm not going to go over the scoring short on time today. The Phillies defeated the Rockies 9-3 as they improved the 35-31. Colorado drops to 33-35. Vince Velasquez improves to 5-7. Herman Marquez drops to 4-7. The Tigers defeated the Twins 3-1 as they improved the 33-37. Minnesota drops to 29-36. Michael Fulmer improves the 3-5. Lance Lynn drops to 4-5. Shane Green gets his 17th save of the year. The Indians defeated the White Sox 5-2 as they improved the 36-31. Chicago drops to 24-43. Mike Clevenger improves to 5-2. Chris Volstead drops to 1-4. Cody Allen gets his 13th save of the year. The Astros defeated the Athletics 7 to 3 as they improved to 45 and 25. Oakland drops to 34 and 35. Justin Verlander improves to 9 and 2. Frankie Montas drops to 3 and 1. The Yankees defeated the Rays 4 to 3 as they improved to 44 and 20. Tampa drops to 32 and 36. I actually had 4 3 Yanks on the podcast yesterday in the FS1 game. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a score right on this podcast other than some football games. So. Proud of that. Domingo Herman with the win improves the one and four. Blake Snell drops to eight and four. Roldis Chapman gets his nineteenth save of the year. The Braves defeat the Padres four to two as they improve the forty and twenty eight. The Padres drop to thirty three and thirty eight. Annabelle Sanchez improves the three and zero. Tyson Ross drops to five and four. Rudy Viciano gets his thirteenth save of the year. The Diamondbacks defeat the Mets six to three as they improve the thirty eight and thirty. The Mets drop to twenty eight and thirty seven. Matt Koch improves to 5-3. Jason Vargas drops to 2-5. Brad Boxberger gets his 15th save of the year. The Red Sox defeated the Mariners 2-1 as they improved to 48-22. Seattle drops to 44-25. David Price with the win improves 8-4. Felix Hernandez drops to 6-6. Craig Campbell gets his 22nd save of the year. Give the Sox credit. The Mariners made it interesting in the bottom of the ninth. and Campbell didn't look great, but he rebounded to retire the next three batters, and the Red Sox hold on the win. Tonight's games, Yankees hosting the Rays. Nathan Navaldi, the former Yankee, against Jonathan Loyasaga, who is making his big league debut tonight. Marlins Orioles, Jose Arena and Kevin Gossman. Reds Pirates, Matt Harvey and Chad Cole. Nationals Blue Jays, Gio Gonzalez and Aaron Sanchez. Twins Indians, Kyle Gibson and Corey Kluber. Padres Braves, Clayton Richard and Brandon McCarthy. Rockies Rangers, Chad Bettis and Johander Mendez. Tigers White Sox, Mike Fires and Reynaldo Lopez. Phillies Brewers, Jake Arrieta against Brent Sutter. Astros Royals, Charlie Morton and Jacob Junis. Cubs, Cardinals, John Lester and Michael Waka, Angels Athletics, Tyler Skaggs and Chris Bassett, Mets Diamondbacks, Seth Lugo and Zach Godley, Red Sox, Mariners, Rick Porcello and James Paxton, last but not least, Giants, Dodgers, you have Derek Holland and Ross Stripling. Now I'm going to go over the U.S. Open leaderboard as of right now. In first, with a minus three, you have Dustin Johnson. Today, he's a minus two. Russell Henley is in second place with a minus two. Today, he's minus one. Third place, they have a tie. Scott Piercy, who's minus one right now, along with Ian Poulter. They go off at 12.30 and 1.36, respectively. Fifth place, you have Rafael cabrera Belo, who's at even. And today, he's a minus three. All right, now I'm going to go over a little bit of FIFA action from 
today and yesterday. Yesterday in the first World Cup game, Russia defeated Saudi Arabia 5-0. Your goal scoring. The first goal was scored by Gazinski in the 12th minute to give Russia a 1-0 lead. Cherisev put him up 2-0. Second half. Zayuba, 3-0. Cherishev again, 4-0 in the extra period. And Golovin in the extra period. Put him up 5-0 for good. Russia has three points now. And that's a great start for them. Uruguay just defeated Egypt, 1-0 in Group A, the game that went off early this morning. Good for Uruguay to hold on. Egypt gave them a game. Jose Gimenez got the lone goal of this game in the 90th minute to give Uruguay a 1-0 lead for good as Uruguay gets three points. Today's matches, you have Morocco and Iran. Give me Morocco. Portugal and Spain. I like Portugal. Tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, France and Australia. Give me France. And 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, Argentina and Iceland. Give me Argentina. Before I go, I'm going to do my NHL mock draft. My sixth version of it. Going to say the team and the player in a little description. One, Sabres. Rasmus Dahlin, the defenseman. Dahlin is the consensus number one overall prospect in this draft. Buffalo needs more transcendent talent other than Jack Eichel, and he will pair on the top, pairing defensively with Rasmus Ristolainen for the foreseeable future in Buffalo. Two, Carolina Hurricanes. Andre Sneshnikov, the wing. The Canes have an up-and-coming defense, so here they address their biggest need, which is scoring. He has an elite scoring touch, but can also play a power forward game. Three Montreal Canadiens, Philip Zadina, the wing. Canadians are a team in dire need of young talent, and Zadina would be a nice start. He is a pure shooter, and his talented shot can be used from anywhere in the offensive zone. Four Ottawa Senators, Brady Tuchuk, the wing. The Sens have a ton of needs regardless of what they do with Eric Carlson. Tuchuk has a lot of offensive talent, has greatly improved his skating as the year went on. Five Arizona Coyotes, Noah Dobson, the defenseman. The Coyotes have a need on defense, and Dobson would be a nice fit. He had a tremendous second half of the year and climbed up draft boards everywhere. Six Detroit Red Wings, Quinn Hughes, the defenseman. The Wings have a lot of needs, although they have some promising young players. Hughes is a top puck mover that can skate like the win. Seven Vancouver Canucks, Yasperi Katakami, the center. As expected for a 17-year-old, Korkinemi needs to grow and develop. He is a very good skater and offensive player, but needs to grow his defensive positioning. Eight, the Chicago Blackhawks, Evan Bouchard, the defenseman. Bouchard would be a solid choice here for the Hawks, considering that they have a need on defense. He is one of the smartest defensemen in the draft, and his passing ability allows him to generate offense from all three zones of the ice while staying in great position. Nine, New York Rangers, Oliver Wallstrom, the forward. The Rangers are a team with a ton of assets heading into the draft, and they can go a number of directions here. Wallstrom is a talent that they might not want to pass up on as he has off-the-chart levels of creativity mixed in with high-end shot and vision. 10. Edmonton Oilers. Adam Boquist, the defenseman. The Oilers have a need on defense and Boquist would be a nice fit. He is an elite puck moving defenseman who will likely be the second one off the board, although his stock is somewhat trending down. 11. New York Islanders. Ty Smith, the defenseman. The Isles have a need on defense, and Smith fits the bill. He is more known for his offensive game rather than his defensive game, and is slightly undersized, but as the game continues to evolve, that is less and less of an issue, as long as the talent is there to back it up. 12. New York Islanders from the Calgary Flames. Joel Farabee, the wing. The Islanders take a forward here in Farabee. He possesses an elite shot for his age and is also a gifted skater, and he knows how to use it to benefit himself. 13. The Dallas Stars. Barrett Hayton, the center. People out there think that Hayton is the best two-way center in the draft. The one thing holding Hayton back is his production. He has all the tools to be a successful and elite player, but his numbers just don't show it. 
14, Philadelphia Flyers from the St. Louis Blues. Grigory Diensenko, the wing. Diensenko projects as a high-end scorer, but will need to be less generous with the puck on the attack. He has high end dangle and deception skills and seems to be able to take games over at the very least. Looks to me a cut above everyone else on the ice sheet. 15. Florida Panthers. Bold Wild, defenseman. The Panthers really don't have any needs, but passing up on a talent like Wild will be hard. He is a complete defenseman who is talented in both ends of the ice and has a pro level shot and close to pro level skating at the age of 18. 16. Colorado Avalanche. Joel Valino, the forward. The Avalanche don't have a need offensively, but Valino will be hard to pass up on. He is a smart and versatile center who is just as effective defensively as he is offensively. 17. The New Jersey Devils. Martin Caught, the wing. Caught is a pure goal scorer. His powerful skating ability allows him to drive the net. When he gets there, he has the quick hands to finish in tight. He can also pounce on rebounds or tip in shots. 18. Columbus Blue Jackets Vitaly Kravstov, the wing. For Kravstov's age and level of competition he plays at, he's a good defender. He needs to continue to grow, but he has talent and uses his speed to get himself into good position, causing turnovers and generating offense. 19. Philadelphia Flyers Keandre Miller, defenseman Miller will be a little bit of a project, but a project that will be well worth waiting for. A lot of young defensemen struggle with defensive responsibility, not him. His best attribute is his defensive play. As he continues to develop, his game will only get better. 20. Los Angeles Kings Isaac Lundestrom, the forward. Lundestrom won't blow past anyone with blinding speed, but he is a talented skater. He has versatility and powerful strides that make him hard to knock off the puck. 21. San Jose Sharks Rasmus Sedin, defenseman. What makes Sedin great is his ability to play in all situations. It doesn't matter if it's on the power play, penalty kill, or even strength. Sedin thrives in all of them. 22 Ottawa Senators from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Jacob Olofsson, the center. Olofsson is also good at controlling the puck down low and making plays out of the cycle game. He also gets to the front of the net and has the hand-eye coordination to tip in pucks and the quickness to pounce on rebounds. 23. Anaheim Ducks. Saran Noel, the wing. Noel is one of the elite wingers this year in terms of projected first-round prospects. He's really strong offensively, featuring good hands and a great shot. Because of his size and good hands, he can score a lot of his goals from in tight. 24. Minnesota Wild. Akil Thomas, center. Thomas is a center who can put up points in bunches. One of his best attributes is his worth ethic with and without the puck and is responsible in all three zones and never takes a shift off. 25. Toronto Maple Leafs Jared McIsaac, the defenseman. Due to his great skating talent, McIsaac is able to carry the puck out of his zone and start the offense. He is also able to quickly recover when necessary and does well to get back into position. 26. New York Rangers from the Boston Bruins Ryan McLeod, center McLeod can create chances everywhere on the ice with his elite skating ability. He can also stick handle through anyone on the ice at any time. 27. Chicago Blackhawks from the Nashville Predators Dominique Boak, the wing. The Blackhawks take Boak here, who's been a fast riser on people's mock boards of late. He has shredded international competition and is closer to the league than people think. 28. New York Rangers from the Tampa Bay Lightning. Kalen Addison, defenseman. Addison will probably be a late first round steal and could be a nice consolation prize for a team that picks late in the first round or early in the second round. He's a promising young player with a ton of potential and the high ceiling if he continues to add his offensive repertoire. 29. St. Louis Blues from the Winnipeg Jets. Ryan Merkley, defenseman. The Blues use this pick to improve their defensive prospect pool. Merkley is a boomer bust prospect with the most offensive upside of all defensemen in the draft. 30. Detroit Red Wings from the Vegas Golden Knights. Ty DeLandria, center. DeLandria is versatile, and his best attribute is his skating with the puck on his stick. Some players his age have great speed but can struggle to handle the puck 
He is the opposite and actually gets better with the puck on his stick. 31. Washington Capitals. Alexander Alexiev, defenseman. Alexiev is a big Russian import who has really improved the pace at which he plays in all of the phases. He's a rangy defender with footwork who can transport it through the neutral zone in a few strides. That's it for the mock draft. That's it for today's podcast. I'll be back tomorrow recapping all the baseball action, U.S. Open, FIFA, and more. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.